suggest. So then, to get the medical authorities off his back, right? Uh, he then formed a and by this time religion right. that that's judged based on faith. I suppose, and uh, that's when Scientology was created. Is that correct? Around no, actually, that was 1952. But this is when it became an incorporated an religion. incorporation. The uh, yeah. legal corporation was in 1953. And it's safe to assume that he became a religion because he could keep more of the money. Correct. Even though all the guy did was buy it. Uh, you see, what my father has done is he takes one tiny small fact and then he balloons it way up. Um, he also claimed he did a lot of underwater research for the University of Michigan. Uh, do you know about that? No, he did not do that. When I was born, I was born at two pounds, two ounces, and, and uh, the, uh, prematurely, uh, my uh, father had rather severely beaten my mother, and that's what caused that, while he was trying to uh, get involved with uh, black magic rituals. But uh, throughout... Uh, all of my early years, uh, I had been with him quite a bit, off and on, and uh, then, of course, there was the major trauma of the divorce uh, from my mother, and then the uh, bigamous marriage with uh, um, Sarah. I am 18 years old. Uh, I knew nothing about Scientology. Uh, all I had. Uh, Red was Dianetics, Modern Science, and Mental Health. It never really interested me very much as a book um, when I was young. And so after about a couple of weeks there, we got involved in a... He asked me to sit down on the couch, and uh, uh, I was high on Benzedrine, on Benny's, and we uh, started uh, doing, quote, research on, uh, on a book called uh, History of Man. So we spent a couple, three days on that. Spent a, here's a book here, The Scientology, A History of Man. Here's a copy of it. And all of the incidents, he did a few with Mary Sue, but the majority of incidents uh, in it were off the top of my head as I had uh, upwards of uh, 20, 30 milligrams of uh, Benny's in me. It's a very small book for the history of man. Yes. Uh, how many pages? And this is, uh, but the thing about this interest, inter interesting thing about the book is, is that this is a purported to be, it is presented as, these are incidents which are common to all, everybody's past. This is the uh, PR output. This is the thrust of the book. Is that These are early genetic incidents in the ancient uh, primordial past of each and every man, woman, and child on Earth. And uh, they came out of my drug trip. Huh. And uh, the, uh, I don't know how many thousands of people uh, have uh, been audited on those particular incidents, like return to the clam. That is where genetically you were a clam and you're, you're having jaw trouble. And that was a, one of the basis of, according to Scientology, my father asked, one of the basis of uh, bad teeth, bad having trouble with your jaws because you were having an ingram as a clam um, 50 trillion years ago. Where the uh, auditing can cure arthritis and leukemia. I've also read where your father cured a 18-month-old girl, a child, I believe it was a girl, of leukemia. That's Is that correct. possible, do you think, that your father has those powers? I'm sorry, what was Do you think like? your father has those powers, or is that a hoax? No, but those are claims. And uh, Tell me about those claims. Sir. Well, first of all, leukemia is cancer, and according to my father, that, that uh, all cancer stems from the second dynamic. The second dynamic in Scientology is uh, sex. Uh, his uh, logic, his leap of logic was, at the time, that he was talking about leukemia and cancer was is that uh, cancer is, is uh, cells which are dividing and dividing of cells is a sexual thing and uh, as in prenatal activity or conception. And uh, so therefore the basis, the basis of all cancer is sex. Uh, you have a if you're having big bad problems with sex in the early childhood or, or something like that, and this is what's causing your cancer. And what about being a celibate? Hmm? If you're a celibate, would that 
eliminate the possibility of having cancer? Well, that could also cause cancer because of your lack of, of uh, sexual activity. Uh, I guess there's no way you can win. That's correct. <laughs> this comes from, uh, uh, I don't want to get all involved in the whole thing, but this comes from a, uh, uh, the Journal of the Hubbard Association of Scientologists International. You see, that was a, quote, scientific organization, unquote, not a religious organization. Uh, copyright 1953, um, and, uh, quote, leukemia is evidently psychosomatic in origin, and at least eight cases of leukemia have been treated successfully by Dianetics after medicine had traditionally given up. The source of leukemia has been reported to be an engram containing the phrase, quote, it turns my blood to water, unquote. What does that mean? That means that uh, eight cases of leukemia have been treated successfully by Dianetics. Okay. And that is untrue, but that's what that, now this was written by my father, L. Ron Hubbard. Scientology is a power and money game. The definition of life in Scientology, what is called, it's a game. Life is a game, same as Monopoly or playing gin rummy. And it doesn't have all that much reality to it, which means that you can uh, pretty well do as you please. And one of the, uh, my father always felt that he was above the law because he had created the law. He created whatever rules, regulations, and laws that he flew by. Uh, there was only one sin in Scientology, which was repeated to me at least a few thousand times, which is, uh, is getting caught. Do you think the people who are in, are in Clearwater, who parade up and down the street, do you think they are a danger to themselves or to the people of Clearwater? Are they a danger to themselves? Or to the people of Clearwater? both. There's a couple of quotes that my father used to say all the time that, that really scare me to death. Uh, he at one time also was talking about uh, really taking on the world and uh, I remember 1958 an example which scared me to death and started myself thinking. Uh, he wanted me to uh, devise a plan to try to steal an H-bomb. Your and, father uh, wanted you to steal an H-bomb? Hmm? Your father wanted you to steal an H-bomb? Yeah, he wanted me to... From whom? Together. Anybody and everybody. We got... Uh, uh, I never got into it because I said, oh, no, thank you, and sort of things went click in my head, and I said, I don't... I have two children. I don't want to get involved in that. And uh, that was in late 1958. Did but he want to steal the parts or the whole bomb? You know, he wanted the whole package. Uh, the, uh, but the, uh, as an example, uh, one of the things he said to me was that, uh, he said to me many, many times, he says, don't call it murder, call it suicide. And there's another quote, uh, I connotate loyalty as the highest ethic. That means follow me. That means total, uh, dedication, total loyalty to me, L. Ron Hubbard. And that's the one thing that he put before any and all, everything. Is it, do you think that the organization wants to con control our economic system? Yes. Thank you.